big knockers, Asians, and the library chick. All right, so what? What's your opinion on this immigration factor? All right, check this out, right? I get that this is a nation of immigrants, whatever. But dig this, okay? We've let enough motherfuckers in, okay? The places, fucking the U.S., England, Europe, are going to fucking shit because we're letting in too many motherfuckers, okay? Like, dude, check this out. Like, my dad's an immigrant. Like, he's not even a citizen. He's got his permanent resident, but... But we've let in enough motherfuckers. And at the same time, we're letting in all these motherfuckers. We've got... We're outsourcing our fucking jobs. You know, fucking parts houses to U.S. car companies are in Mexico, and then this, the factories, the assembly lines, are in fucking Canada being assembled by robots. Canadian robots are assembling United States cars. And on top of it, fucking, when was the last time you could call customer support? And fucking, one time I got lucky and I got Chad in Florida. But every other time, I get fucking Hodge in fucking Burma, or fuck in, you know, India or some shit, and it's not that I have a problem with Hodge. It's not that I don't want Hodge to have a job. I just think that a United States company should have to fucking offer us that job first. I mean, what, what, what do you think unemployment's so high? Why do you think we're in a fucking recession? We're sending our jobs to other fucking countries, and it's that NAFTA bullshit, fuck Bill Clinton. This is ridiculous, dude. Like, and it's not even a race issue. Like, now people are going to be on the YouTubes calling me a racist and shit. But it's just, bottom line is, United States companies need to keep the workers United States. I don't give a fuck if it's Tyrone. I don't give a fuck if it's Scott, Cameron, or fucking Juan Gomez, dude. But it needs to be a fucking American. It could even be Hodge, an American. Like, it just, I want it to keep American. What we gotta do is we gotta stop letting motherfuckers in, and we gotta keep our jobs here. And that's step one. Bottom line. Bottom line. Keeping it real. Alright, give your shout outs and say goodnight to you two. Give my shout outs, fucking. I give a shout out to the, to America. Remember how Bernie Mac used to talk to America? I like that shit. You remember that show? I'm addressing America tonight. Because America used to rock pretty hard. I'm talking some Founding Fathers type shit here, dude. So fucking, that's my shout out is America. And to everybody else, I don't really, I've always found these fucking YouTube shout outs to be pretty gay. You know, I could, I could fucking name off every fucking friend and family member and fucking friend and family fucking relative of them, but I'm just addressing America tonight for Cameron's pleasure, and I want you all to know, I want you all to have a good night, America, and uh, I hope this recession ends soon, and uh, that's what I gotta say. Good night, America.